The elite 155th Marine Brigade of the Russian Pacific Fleet has lost approximately 80% of its forces in Ukraine, the BBC Russian service reported. The brigade, which has been fighting near Volodar in Donetsk Oblast since the fall of 2022, has suffered losses of around 2,400 soldiers. This means that out of the initial 3,000 troops, only 600 remain, according to the Russian agency agentsvo.news. The 155th Marine Brigade has been involved in the war against Ukraine since the first day of the full-scale invasion. The brigade initially fought in Kiev Oblast before retreating to Belarus and later being redeployed to Donetsk Oblast. Pro-Russian military correspondents reported significant losses for the brigade as early as November 2022 when it was fighting near the village of Pavlivka, about three kilometers from Volodar. At that time, the aggressor themselves claimed to be losing around 300 personnel every four days. Meanwhile, the Russian Ministry of Defense alleged that the brigade's losses over 10 days of fighting near Pavlivka did not exceed 1% killed and 7% wounded. The story of the 155th Brigade serves as a vivid illustration of the exhaustion of Russian units fighting on the most difficult sections of the front. Agents Vo.News writes, Ukrainian Defense Forces confirmed the withdrawal of their units from Volodar in Donetsk Oblast on October the 2nd. The 155th and 40th Marine Brigades of the Russian Federation could have lost more than 2,100 personnel in Volodar, including those killed, severely wounded, and missing in action, the BBC Russian service reported on October the 4th. This represents 40% of the pre-war strength of these two units. Currently, the 155th Brigade operates in the Kursk region, where it was moved in August 2024 after the start of the Ukrainian offensive in the Russian region. In August, fighters from this brigade published a recording showing the severed head of a Ukrainian soldier impaled on a post in the Belgorod region. Volodar, which the brigade had been attacking since 2022, only came under full Russian control at the beginning of October. Ukrainian defense forces attacked an oil base in the occupied city of Rovenki, Lugansk region. Local telegram channels reported on this. As a result of a drone strike, an explosion and fire occurred in one of the reservoirs at the oil base. No casualties are reported. The information was confirmed by the Ukrainian headquarters. It is noted in the information that oil products intended for the needs of the Russian army were kept at the base. The extent of the damage is determined. During the strike on a military airfield in the Republic of Adygea, for missiles, 15 aerial bombs and 41 unified planning and correction modules were destroyed. The telegram channel ASTRA reports this, citing its sources. The publication also reports that the runway was partially destroyed. During attack on the Konskaya airfield in Adygea, one of the drones hit an ammunition depot. According to sources, as a result, an X-31 missile, three X-35 missiles and 15 UMBP aerial bombs detonated. Also lost were 41 unified planning and correction modules which are installed on aerial bombs, increasing their range by tens of kilometers, 20 UMPK, 500M, 16 UMPK, 505 UMPK. Another UAV hit the runway. It was partially destroyed, the report says. Let us recall that on the night of October 10, Ukrainian drones attacked the suburb of Makop in the Republic of Adygea, the drones struck the Konskaya military airfield, 
where the 272nd Training Aviation Polotsk orders of Suvorov and Kutuzov Aviation Base of the 2nd Category of the Krasnodar Higher Military Aviation School of Pilots named after Hero of the Soviet Union AK Serev is stationed. The head of Adigia reported only about the attack and subsequent fire, in the suburbs of Makop, and also announced the evacuation of residents of the village of Rodnikovi, which is adjacent to the military airfield Konskaya. The attack on the airfield was not officially confirmed by either local authorities or the Russian Defense Ministry. However, it was confirmed by the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine.